L M, yes, baby, yes, baby, definitely. So let's go ahead and get started. I think we might have some volume now. We're going to see. YouTube, let me know if you guys can hear me. Just type in yes if you can hear me. You all, let's go. So today is Mr. R. J. Hurd. Pick. One of the baddest comedians in the game. I absolutely love him. I am blessed to know him. Um, he is a dear friend of mine. And yes, ladies, he has a girlfriend. He will tell you that. I'm just going to let y'all know ahead of time that, you know, that's what happens. I don't want y'all to get cursed out and shit, okay? All right. So, his menu choice today was stuffed catfish. He left it up to me to figure out whether I was going to bake it or fry it. And since typically fried fish is what I do on Friday, and we're moving it up to Thursday, I'm just going to go ahead and do it the way I normally do it. We're going to fry it. We're going to stuff the catfish, and we are going to fry it. Yeah. You heard me. That's what we're doing. Yes, yeah, really, baby. I had to let them know. What up, cuz? How are you feeling today? How are you feeling, baby? You guys, this is Crystal um, Cole. She is a family member of mine, a friend of mine, a love of mine. She is also a frontline worker who found out yesterday that she has COVID. You guys keep her in your prayers. Um, please and thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Um, we are all still here with you, babe. So let's get a crack lack, crack lack, lack, lacking. So we're making a stuffed fried catfish. We are going to stuff it with bell pepper, onion, asparagus, I know, right? And some celery. We're going to also mix it with cream cheese, panko, to help it thicken and hold. And, yeah, you, you're blessed to be alive, and that's all you can ask for. And, um, what was that thing? Oh, egg, cream cheese, and planko. We are also making, oh, and spinach is what we're stepping in with. We're also making a, damn it, I had to move my hair again. Um, we're going to be making a homemade mashed potato and a salad. The salad is the easy part. I should have prepped that before I got you guys on here. But, hey, um, y'all are here now, so fuck it. We're going to do it all together. Now, so our drink is a drink that I found online. It is called a strawberry smash. Um... It is made by Cook and Kate, I believe. Damn it! Did it again! And um, I am going to switch it a little bit, but I do have to, you know, pay homage to the people who came up with the idea, even though I'm going to uh, maneuver the idea around just a smidget. As always, I'm drinking my Pinot Grigio. So let's get started. First things first. I pop the freak song. But. Playboy, so it's getting money. All right, um, I do not own the rights to that music, so don't mute my shit. I just like it. Now, I've already pre filled our potatoes. We are going to rinse them off, and then we're going to put them in a pot of water to boil, okay? I, If you have a deep fryer for this dish, use a deep fryer. If you have a, I'm using my Dutch oven to fry my fish in because it's deep and I can place the fish in there whole without, eh, you know, too much, too much. So I'm going to go ahead and put some water in our pot. Then we're going to move it over here to the uh, stove and then we're going to start our drink. I'm going to just get the potatoes on. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. We are also putting in... Lobster tails, y'all know me. I have to have some sort of lobster or shrimp. So we're going to throw some lobster tails off into this stuffing for our catfish, okay? So there we go. All right, let's go ahead and put the potatoes over in there. And then we can get to working on our drink and our stuffing. How much fun is that? Shit, yeah. All right. Hold on. 
coming back. Did you check it? Can you hear? You can't hear now? Are you on? What the fuck? Like you can't hear anything? Turn your volume. Damn it, YouTube. Why is this giving me issues? I restarted my phone and I can hear. You can hear me now? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. That's what I needed to make sure. Next. Fucking hey, I keep doing that. You know what? Hold on. Let me just go ahead and do that now. Yep. All right. So, let's get started on our pretty, pretty, pretty little drink. So, Cook and Cake variation of this drink is vodka, cranberry, lime juice, and a simple syrup. We've done a simple syrup before. I know you guys remember what this is, but just in case, I'm going to show you again, okay? Now, you can buy a simple syrup at your grocery store. Um, and your mix where they have in your juice aisle, towards the end of that aisle, they should have um, like your mixed drinks where you can buy your ginger beer, you can buy syrup, uh, simple syrup, bitters, uh, things like that. So, if you want to, it's about five dollars. Go ahead and purchase it, or you can be like me. I'm not about to spend five dollars on some shit that I make at home, it is literally sugar. And water. Simple syrup. That's what it is. Okay? So there's our simple syrup. So their okay. So their drink is the simple syrup, lime juice, vodka, and cranberry. I am and that's that is the um strawberry and strawberries, of course. And that is the strawberry smash. We are gonna make a variation of their strawberry smash, but I'm calling it a strawberry kick. Okay, because we're going to switch it up just a minute. Okay, so, oh, uh, my cup, hold on. I put my cup in the freezer, as you can see, just to let it get nice and cold. Now, I'm going to get about three or four strawberries and rinse them off, okay? Let's say it is vodka and cranberry is an amazing drink. Um, it is uh, usually one of my uh, sober drinks if I have gotten drunk the night before. So we're just going to slip one, place it on the rim of the glass, just like you guys see me doing. Now I'm going to make a few slices. So this is going to go inside, inside, okay? There we go. All right, one other thing I want for this, if I have any left, this is simply a caramel syrup, Hershey. And I'm going to place a few of these inside, just like that. Now, uh, I'm sorry, I made the dish. I'm sorry. We are going to put some, about two, an ounce of white wine. I'm using Pinot Grigio. You use whatever you would like. I am then going to add a two teaspoons of our simple syrup. Then 
I'm going to go ahead and add cranberry. What up, battle, Mr. Jalen Battle? Okay, I'm glad you forgive me. I love you. We're going to add our cranberry. So about two ounces of that. We're going to add our vodka. Okay. And now, lime juice. And a few more, just for fun. And that is our strawberry kit. Okay? Oh, yeah. You'll like this one. Drink that. I'm going to put it in the freezer so I can get a little cold. Mmm. And so we can begin. Uh, all right. So. What we're going to start off with, we already have our uh, potatoes boiling for our mashed potatoes, okay? So now, what we're going to do is prepare our stuffing that's going to go in our catfish. So I'm just rinsing off our component. All right. So I'm rinse these off. I'm going to get some asparagus out because we're going to also put asparagus in here. So we'll do about three or four, four salts. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and rinse our tomatoes off. They're not going in the stuffing, but they are going um, in our salad. Okay. And... We're going to put a couple of mushrooms, as always. You know I like some mushrooms. And some spinach. We're putting spinach in the stuffing as well as in our uh, salad. Okay, so we got that. And no, I'm not chopping the stem off the spinach. I don't want to do that. I like it. Spinach wilt on its own. I like it like this. I want to leave it like that. So we're going to chop off the tail of our celery, that thick white part at the bottom. And I'm going to chop off the tip too. I'm not going to throw this away yet because I'm going to use it for garnish when we plate. So I'm going to just move it to the side. Just sweep it over to the side. Now, everything we are doing that's going in this stuffing, minus the spinach, we are dicing down. So I'm going to cut my stalk, my celery stalk. I don't know if you all see me. Mm. You see me? Okay. I'm going to cut my celery stalk. Um, three different ways. I'm going to cut it down just so I can get smaller portions of it. Okay? Now, mind you, we have to still cook our lobster tail. We are going to saute all of it with the lobster tail. So that way when we mix in our cream cheese and our panko 
and our eggs. Um, it will bind better. So we'll move that over to the bowl. Okay, same thing here. We are going to cut off the stem because it's thick, pulpous. We don't need it. So we'll just take that part off. And small. Even all the way up to the head on the asparagus. I'm chopping it. I'm not trying to chop y'all head. I know. There we go. Know how y'all feel about that. Men, hide your balls. I don't want you to think I'm coming for you. I ain't coming for you, okay? Everything that we're putting in here, if you notice, we are chopping down small. Just because it makes it easier when it's time to stuff our what up, Zion? It makes it easier when it's time to stuff our catfish, okay? So there we go. All right. Um, you can leave it big if you want. I, I don't. I, the smaller it is, the smaller it is, the more of each ingredient you'll actually be able to get into the catfish fillet when you're stuffing it. You will also need two sticks for this, okay? Sorry, y'all. There is a fly in my trash. My bad. I have to make sure I got it. I don't do flies, okay? Listen, I, I'm not. My mama is a lab technician. I don't do flies. This shit freaks her out. She freaks out, freaks me out. Did I ever tell y'all how I learned sexual education from my mother? She showed me what an STD looked like on a man's thing and on a petri dish. I promised you that quickly changed my outlook on fucking when I was a kid. Okay? And y'all know I ain't doing no motherfucking fly. Okay. Alright. We are almost done. I notice I'm not using the whole bell pepper. I'm going to see how one side looks first, and then I may go ahead and do a second side. But, uh, and then I may not. So I, that's why I'm cutting just the one side first. However, I use bell pepper in my salad as well. So, um, yeah, baby. Somebody knows my name, and they'll get a card out of the room. I gave it to Charles. He's going to try and get it to work for you. Mom, remember no, that's from Auntie Roslyn. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and cut up the other one. So $20 is already on it? $20 is already on it. You can shop to your heart content. Yay! <laughs> Bye! Bye! So, if I'm getting you... So if I'm trying to buy something, uh-huh. Does it get automatically buy it? It will take it out of your, your account balance. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. That little boy is coming out. Now, 
I'm using a sweet yellow onion. Y'all can use a red onion if you want um, for color, if that's what you want. Uh, and the red onion has a very different flavor. It's still very good. So really, it, to me, it, honestly, it doesn't really matter which one you use. Uh, I'm going to take a drink. I need a drink. Hold on. I know we're 20 minutes in, but we're already halfway there because our damn potatoes are dying or boiling. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to cut off one half of this onion, okay? I'm going to just cut half. I'm going to go ahead and peel it, y'all. Who's going to call shots today? YouTube, is it you or Facebook, is it you? You know what, Tanya, you call a shot. What up, Sheila? What up, William? Uh, Sheila or Tanya? Y'all are the shot caller today. So one of y'all, both of y'all can be the shot caller. So whenever y'all call shots, YouTube, you know what it is. We got to do shots. Okay. Baby, what happened to Zay Oh. All right. So you see how Julian did first by making slices. And then I am just dicing it. Small as possible to get it into our stuffing. What up, Mr. Queen? Mr. Whole Motherfucking Snack. No, wait. Somebody told me today, y'all. They said, Sai, you are not a whole motherfucking snack. You are a full course meal. I said, I know with all this belly on me, too. But, so I'm going to start calling y'all snacks. Hey, baby. I'm going to start calling y'all meals. Y'all full course meals out this motherfucker, okay? That's what y'all is. And I ain't mad at it. Y'all my baby. All right. So, we are going and I am Julie Anning this bell pepper, okay, so that I can dice it, but I'm trying to stay at a particular size, because again, I don't want, yes, baby, so I'm not going to play with you, Michael, play with your brother, wait, Bill, what? Micah, be a big brother to your little brother and help him build something. It, I don't know what it is. Okay. Somebody make sure the air is on 72 for me, please. All right. So, with our yellow bell pepper, we're only going to do that one half. Just because I feel like that's enough. Coloring. Thank you, baby. So we're going to do it like that. Let me see. Y'all think we should throw some red bell pepper in here just for shits and giggles? Mom, keep on it. I don't know how to throw that thing. Uh, get some help. Yeah, I'm telling him to get some help. We are. We're going to go ahead and add some red bell pepper into it just for shits and giggles and for some color. And I don't need a whole lot of it. What's wrong, kiddo? Well, take the box. Okay. You got it. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So we decided 
we're gonna go ahead and add some red bell pepper in here. Um, and I'm gonna move my hair out my way and rinse off my hand. Just for color. I don't wanna do tomato, so we we just put through the red bell pepper. All right. There we go. There we go. Drop that in the bowl. Now I'm a little bit more content with that. So, next step is So our next step now is going to be to season our lobster tail, get it into a medium-sized skillet, and for us to get that on the stove. I'm going to show you what that looks like, okay? Let me just get my skillet. This is what I'm going to be using. It's not very big at all. And it looks like it's not going to hold all that, but it will. We have cleaned and rinsed our lobster tail. I am leaving it in the shell. You can open this up and take it out, but I want to keep it in. Absorb some of that shell flavor, and we'll take it out after it's cooked fully. Um, and then we'll, we'll dice it down. Okay? What I'm going to need for this. White wine. Echo Damani is what I'm using. This is one of my favorites. I have two favorite Pinot Grigios. It is, well, three. Liberty Hall is the third. Um, Oak Leaf would be second. And Echo Damani would be first. I am a huge fan. It is absolutely fucking amazing. So we're going to take the Echo Damani and we're going to put it in the skillet with our lobster tail, okay? So we're going to pour maybe about... Maybe about a third of a cup, somewhere in there, okay? Now, what happens next is I want to season it. First, I need to get my spoon, because I want about two tablespoons of butter. My bag, the Facebook. The one. Okay, so one, two, okay. Just like that. And a fifth man should drop you. I'm sorry, y'all. Next. Mm. I'm going to have me some Echo Dewani while we do this. Slap your mama. I love it when I'm doing my seafood. Destiny Miss Harley Quinn in the building, you guys. She's an amazing friend of mine. Y'all show her love. Shout her out. Um, We are using... Slap your mama. I love this. Walker and Son, they, they, when they did this here, they put their foot in this. They also make a black eyed pea seasoning. So when you make black eyed peas, and we'll do that for like our New Year's show or our holiday show. But this fucking seasoning is amazing. Again, you got to order it online. I know Kroger's, uh, Kroger's carries it. Uh, out here in Texas, H-E-B carries it. I don't think Walmart has it yet. But I know any grocery store affiliated with Kroger's will carry it cause, um, because they're affiliated with Kroger's. Uh, but it is, what up, you guys? What up, what up, what up? But uh, Walker & Sons is big out in, uh, in Louisiana. Uh, you can get Walker and Sons at Kroger's in Louisiana. When I'm in Lake Charles, I go to Kroger's or Market Basket. You can get it at Market Basket. It's really fucking good. It's not overpowering in salt or a Creole seasoning. It, it's just phenomenal. And it has... You can? Okay. So, okay. So you can get it at Walmart, too. Correction on my part. I wasn't sure about that or not. So thank you. It has a very good, most people confuse Cajun and Creole seasoning with salt. And so everything is fucking salty. 
Cajun Creole is supposed to be spicy and savory. Okay? So we're adding cayenne because, you know, of course, I love my spice. I am doing onion powder, not onion salt. I want onion powder, okay? Onion powder. Now, remember I told you I use Kingsford and Weber. They have come out, they started to come out with their lines of, um, of seasoning. This is um, Kingsford, the grill. This is their uh, Cajun seasoning, and it's amazing. You see it, Cajun style seasoning. It's all purpose and it's spicy. All right, so we're going to put some of that over in here. I'm going to also use garlic salt. I love my Lowry's garlic salt. I am a huge fan, as always. Last but not least, which you'll always see me do, Sazon Goya. Sazon Goya. Um, I'm a huge fan of theirs as well. And that is going to be our seasoning. We are going to put this, along with this, in here and on the stove. Add a hint of lemon juice. If I can find my lemon juice, what the hell? Oh. Gotta clean that up. Oh, well. All right. There we go. Just like that. Take this. We're going to put it on our small eye. Put it right underneath high. And within two minutes, you need to insert the rest of this over in here so it can cook as well. Okay. Our potatoes are almost done. Now, the next step, so we got our stuffing partially ready. We're going to need to add our panko to our stuffing, and we're going to need to add an egg and our cream cheese. We're going to do that, the all stuffing, and we're going to need to add an egg and our cream cheese. We're going to do that, the all those things after we take it out of the skillet where it's still warm. That'll help the cream cheese melt itself down, easily adjustable, because I've kept it out, it's at room temperature, so it's more, it's moldable, but I want it to be able to be maneuverable when I'm uh, stirring together the stuffing. So let's just put that to the side, and now we're going to season our catfish, okay? So I got some fillets, and I got some whole. See? Y'all like it? Trying to drip off all the excess water. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave one filet um, that I'm going to just fry regular for my kids because they may not eat it stuffed and they do like fried fish or they might just fill the stuffing out and just eat the fried. But I am going to leave one that I'm going to chop up for them. Actually, I might leave two. We're going to leave two. Excuse me, I got to sneeze, in which case I'm going to have to wipe my hands, wash my hands. Oh, excuse me. All right. Sorry. Just had to wash my hands real quick. Now, hold on there. Okay, there it is. Now, 
when I'm doing my fish, okay, I do like to use, okay, a pro boil. This is what you do when you're doing crawfish, crab, shrimp, when you're doing your boil. Damn. All right, it's shot time. They just called. So y'all know what it means. Grab your shot glass. Okay. Damn, they both go. So it is shot time. Grab your glass. Get your drink. Let's pour it in the glass. Damn it. Because they caught me off guard. Caught a, caught a pimp slipping. Right? Ain't that how they say it? Caught a pimp slipping? All right. Listen to that shit. Okay. Bro, wait, that's wine. Shit. Shit, shit. Hold up. What am I doing? Okay. Bro, wait, that's wine. Shit. Shit, shit. Hold up. What am I doing? I'm about to pour the wine in. Well, you know what? That's how I drink it. Wine and vodka. All right, there we go. Well, sit that back over there. Shit. All right. So, sex, love, money, and stuffed fried catfish. How about this? Yeah? Salud. Salud. Let's go. Hold on. Oh, uh -uh. all right. Shit. Okay. Make a bitch nipple hard. That ain't right. Okay. All right. All right. Ugh. Okay. I'm back. So. I am just going to take my crab oil because I love the flavor in this Zatarain. I love, I love, I love. I do want it on my fish. So I am going to, you see me just sticking my hand in it and dusting the fish with it. I'm also going to hit it with a little of the Slap Your Mama. Pretty much the same seasonings we use on our lobster tail, what we're doing on our fish. All right. I even season the tail of the fish. Listen, because y'all may not be like me, but me and my family, we we eat the tail of the fish. That shit get nice and crunchy with that, with that cornmeal on it, baby. That should be good. That should be life. You be like tearing that shit up. But, again, y'all may not be like me and my family. I know me and my family do it. What up, Mr. Bell? Fucking that shit. Oh, I'm talking about. Oh. All right. This is the one other thing that we did not put on our lobster tail that we are putting on our catfish. It is Italian seasoning. And yes, I know you about to be like, wait, Italian on fucking fish? Just fucking trust me, okay? Ask my family and my friends. They eat my them tails, right? Thank you. Told you. Them tails be light, baby. Be fucking them tails up. Eat some tail on a fried catfish. Oh, baby. You be singing like Justin, uh, Justin Bieber, baby, baby, baby. Um, oh, that's what you're going to be saying. That should be everything. Them fans and them tails, baby. Mm. But see, y'all won't, unless you're from the South, you ain't going to know about what I'm talking about. Or unless you done went fishing before and dug up your own night crawler and if you ain't done that you ain't been fishing i i dig up my own night crawler my grandma used to take me out on the bank baby we go out there in the middle of the night wait for them things to come up out of it we be digging the hell out of them next day i'll be fishing my ass off early in the morning tearing that shit up did i already do this i feel like i did but it never hurts to come back. tearing that shit up you feel me what? See? Told you. Y'all got to listen to YouTube. YouTube's telling y'all that. That tail be fire. It be light. It be lit. All right. And some more of our tag. Sounds like it is time to put 
our vegetables over here into our lobster. What is that? I know, right? Don't, exactly. Don't knock it until you try. Don't ever, the best part about food is trying some shit that's different. If you eat the same shit all the time, you will never find something new and something great that's sitting right in front of your face because you want to be stuck to the same regular shit. All right. You got to try something different. I, when I first decided that that being a chef was the career path I wanted to take, I knew that I had to start learning and trying completely different things. I've been overseas, Japan and Hawaii. I've tried raw ass, uh, something called a poke bowl. I don't know if you guys are familiar. It is like raw, uh, it's sashimi. It's raw tuna, it's raw salmon, in a bowl with rice, and raw other raw ingredients. And it's amazing. Fresh sushi in, in Japan, you, you can't get no better than that. I'm, baby, you can't, you can't do no better than that. It is the best of the best of the best. But I, originally, it freaked me out. So I had to... I mean, because when you see uh, fresh octopus amongst other things, and I'm like, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Shot time! Grab your glasses. Motherfucker, they waited till I turned around and did that shit to me. Grab your glasses. Get your liquor. Shit! Dirty motherfuckers. Y'all did that shit while my back was turned. Look. Uh, let me put you back here. I can see you. <laughs> Do that shit where my back turn. They did that shit where my back is turn. All right. Oh, let's do it. Hey. Oh, let's do it. Hey. Ah. Uh, I love you for that. You all, this is Arthur. He's an amazing person. An amazing man who I deeply love and have known forever. Oh, shot! Look, he shot time. All right, fine, fine, fine. I'm coming. Look, if I wasn't back in Nebraska, uh, Omaha, Nebraska, she's saying that she wishes I was there because I wouldn't be able to get rid of her, which I know to be true. Because if I was there and doing this, all my family that's there would be like this and like like swarmed into like it wouldn't even. It would there I'd have to like fight people to get out my kitchen. But I love them, they love me. Salud, let's go. All right, y'all ready? I'm doing it. Come on. Oh fudge me. All right. Um to the Black Lives Matter movement. May all the parents and the family members get the justice um that they are due and that they deserve and in the hopes that this will end and 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 a new nation is reborn. Salud. Salud. Here we go. All right. I'm coming. Shut up. Oh, shit. And out in Louisiana. Yes, I know. All right. Why my baby walking around singing a song, coronavirus? Sing it, baby. Kind of like a... Uh, oh, hold on. Let me see something. Oh, no. That make it too dark. Never mind. No, no. No. I'm trying to give y'all less light in your... In your... Well, how's that? Y'all can see. Okay. So, um, yeah, what was I saying? So, yeah, definitely. I lost... Did I, did I lose the phone, y'all? Did I lose the spoon? What I do? 
What the dude just see this y'all keep calling shots and you're fucking with me. Now I lost the damn spoon. What the hell I do with the spoon? Did it fall in oh it's right. Son of a gun. They still in the skillet, y'all. I opened it, didn't want to hang back. Well, if you open the door, it's going to let fly in here, baby. Yeah, but I'm coughing. Okay, baby. Okay. Whatever you say. So, you got to um, try something new. I have eaten live, quickly as calamari. See, this is what I'm talking about. They open doors letting flies and I don't like fucking flies. I have tried calamar fresh like this is not cooked. And I'm telling you, it's a different feeling. When it goes down your throat. You know, cum is a different feeling going down your throat. Like when, uh, mm -mm, no, I can't, this, this the whole messed up part. So, uh, <laughs> So, it's a different, have you ever, I have tried sea urchin. Some of the most smelly looking shit that is disgusting, you would think, until you actually eat it, prepare it the right way. It's amazing. He need to go out. He need to go out. Where he at? Or? Oh, well, let him, at the front door, open it, let him out. So, yeah, you got to open your palate to new things. You got to be willing to try something new, um, especially in this line of work. You got to be willing to try something new. Uh, and that's, like I said, that's why I chose this line of work. Because I wanted new stuff. I hate flies. Shit. I'm sorry, baby, but I, mommy can't stand the motherfucking fly. I, okay, I'm a stop person. Well, that's not factual, but I'm going to attempt to stop person. That may not be factual either. I am going to, I need to clean my fish off. Okay. Um, mommy is going to make a positive effort and energy that when you are around me, I try not to curse as much. That's factual. That's factual. All right. So we are now ready to complete our stuffing. Move this. Fully put the lid on my stuff because I don't want it. I am the type that will accidentally hit that shit and it'll go tumbling over. Okay, so we're ready to get our stuffing going. Now, this fly, this fly is going to get on my damn nerve. Hold on, y'all. Where you at, fly? Can't stand fly. Every time, I got kids. If y'all got kids, y'all know that during the summer especially, they open your door, they run it in and out. And I'm telling them stop doing that shit, but they're always letting flies in. Damn, you gonna bet me? <clears throat> Go out the front door. Mom, he bet me that I can't stop certain. Thank you, baby. Damn. Oh shit. I mean shit. Stoop, stop. Wait, hold up. This does not count. I have not accepted the bet yet. So just everybody with they stop with the faces and shit. I can fucking stop cussing. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. I okay, shit. Now wait, fuck, wait. Turn. Oh, and you gonna up and you gonna up the bed? What the fuck? Okay, for some fifty dollars. Oh, fifty dollars. He said, oh, fifty dollars. He's like, so now, now it's time to take the bed. How about this? Huh? 
How about what? I bet you're abusive, but you have to give uh, one thousand dollars. Damn. If she dies, I mean, shit. I mean, if she does this bet for you, <laughs> I couldn't. That's what I bet y'all. Oh, is that is was that that's it? We get and it? Also, I bet y'all. Yeah. Oh damn! But well, ah shit! Oh. No, mommy. I got it, baby. Oh, okay. I have. I haven't I'll decided yet. I haven't I'll decided yet. Okay, baby. I have. Okay. Um. It's okay. All right. So our potatoes are done. We're gonna put them in a strainer. I'm gonna get back. Let me, um. Give me five seconds. Let me. Let me work that out in my head and to see if I can mentally prepare. To do this because and I'm gonna curse up until the time that I give you an answer because damn it, I'm such a fucking lazy. Okay, shit. You said that with the bloody damn it, why does he remember everything? Because Shut I'm it. A smart kid. You are a smart little kid. Can I get a hug? I might be than you might be smarter than a lot of people. Can I get a hug? I actually do my I actually do my No, I want a front hug. Give me a front hug. Oh. Mm. 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 Say hi, everybody. Hello. Say hi. Hello. Mwah. Hey, it's smart. He's very smart. Shit, shoot. Mmm. Did you Normally, I'm good at saying yes to best, but I'm feeling like this may not be one I'm successful at. Oh, they got to give me $1,000? If you do the bet. If I do the bet. Oh, okay. If you don't do the bet, then no, they don't have to. Oh, okay. Okay, word, word. I'm not mad at that, baby. Word. You heard it? So, I just tasted our mixture for the what's up? How pretty is that seam coming off of there? You want that? Hey, Karina! Damn it! Did you just call shot time again? Motherfucking ah, uh, shit! Fuck! Oh! Rabbit says no. No, 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 no! No more of that. Shotgun. No more, no, no, mommy, no. Mm. No more, no, no more. No, that's part of the business. No, I'm sorry, no more. Just no more doing that right now. Mm. Damn it. No more doing that right now. Baby, it's time to shine out. Let me finish. You keep catching me with my back turned. Straight bullshit. So lay out. It's shot time. So everybody, it's not just everybody get your damn glasses. It is shot time. Shut up. I can't. Anytime the shot caller. Anytime the shot caller calls it. Okay. All right. This is to what my son said. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this bet. How long? It can't be. Listen, 24 hours. Let me know. I'm going to say how long. 24 hours. And you tell me when we're going to start it. And it cannot be during this episode. You can start it for tomorrow's episode. Let's see if I can do it. Go 24 hours without cursing. Salud. He said, can't y'all give my mom a voice? Oh, wait. I, I ain't no I curse. I curse the ass, get in trouble. I would bring your ass here. Get hey, your hey, ass hey, over hey, here. No I, I it ain't started yet. Okay. He said, okay. But no, I no, I just oh. see, but you listening no, in. At 11. After so, 11. So, but, okay. 
And it's not still 11. Exactly. Hey, I thought. That's not cursing. That's a symbol. That's a, a what? It's not basically a symbol. It's basically cursing. God damn it. Stop being smart. You don't mean just being cursed. Okay? Baby, listen, Arthur. Stop, stop. So. No. Get your cream cheese, okay? And we are going to prepare this for going here. I'm going to just slice it down into two decent sized chunks, okay? Just like that. It's called that. It's called what, baby? That. Okay, baby. I, I, don't, I don't know what it's called. He it says it's called something. It's called sex. All right. Got shit. Ah. Uh, mommy. Sorry. Are you trying to curse? Mommy's trying not to curse. Well, guys, but it's up to curse. Of course, you would want some shrimp. Y'all some shrimp. No, no more shrimp. No. Y'all some shrimp people. Y'all the most shrimpiest eating. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't even talk shit. Me and my family love seafood. Cream cheese. Or eight to ten, somewhere in there. Um, If you're just getting the single boxes, use the, just the one. Use just the one box, okay? Because um, that's all you'll need. And you just stir it together. You just want to make sure it kind of breaks up like that. And that's why you put it in right after we take it off the stove. Bam. Perfect. Now, we got that in there. You need to add pinkles. Okay, panko. Um, I don't want breadcrumbs. I want panko. Oh, y'all, Miss Tamika Alberta Jones or Miss Tamika, no excuse, Zone Jones. Beautiful black to six, best friend to moi, and owns an amazing workout. I've been using your lives because sometimes, bitch, I be sleep. So I've been missing them when they live. I be trying to wake myself early enough to catch them. I, and I'll be missing some of them. But I turn around and use them bitches. I'm trying to snatch this belly in. I'm trying to get where a bitch look good in a bikini. I want to be good in a bikini. I want the titties up. I want uh, like this. I'm trying to get the, the butt, the the uh, what's the, uh, the gluteus maximus or something like that. I'm trying to get that right too. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm, work, I'm, I'm working. Hard. I'm working hard on it. It just, you know, I gotta put in some extra time. I eat too much, I drink too much. We need to find a, a happy medium. Don't know if we're gonna find that. So, I got my panko as my binding agent. I got my, I don't want breadcrumbs. Panko is traditionally used Japanese. When you get their fried shrimp or anything like that, it is crusted in panko. It is amazing. It is a form of a breadcrumb. It's just a bit different. Now, to bind the panko to the cream cheese, to the vegetables, I'm going to add one egg. I know, I know. Shut the hell up. It looks weird. Sounds weird. I'm sorry. Looks weird. Sounds weird. Fucking fly. Sorry. I don't like flies, y'all. Hey. I do not like flies at all. Oh, we're at our hour mark. We're about to be ending the show. Roughly 30 minutes. That puts us at 7.45 uh, on the dot. 7.30, 7.45 on the dot. And we're going to try and finish earlier than that. Mix that in. Voila. Done. Now, our lobster tail is the last part 
to this stuffing. My fault. My fault. My fault. Okay. So we gotta open up our lobster tail. It. Tell it apart. Okay. What up, Mr. Boaz? All right. All right, I'm just getting all the lobster meat out there. So we'll remove that shell. Grab your knife. You are going to want to slice this as small as you can. Damn! Well, hold on. Let me slice this first. Shot time. Grab your shot. So, you got to let me slice this first and at least get it in to um, our mixture. Oh, my God. That is so, you know, I'm going to delete that last little bit. It didn't need it. Oh, my God. Amazing. Oh, my God. Becky, look at her butt. Tunchi, I do not own the rights to the music. There. Now. We are at the tail end of the show. I have my Dutch oven heated. You see it on the stove. I have it filled halfway with canola oil. We're going to cut that on right above medium. We're about to let that get hot right now while we stuff the shrimp or while we stuff the fish so that we can start frying because now our potatoes are done, so we're going to stuff this and prepare it for there. I'm going to show you how to finish off your mashed potatoes. God damn it, Timothy. I can't answer this shit right now. Um, oh, yeah, shot. Fuck. Let's go. Grab your glass. So we're about to stuff our catfish. Now, while we stuff our catfish... And get that settled while the heat is heating. We are gonna go ahead and make our mashed potatoes. And then make I'm gonna make a small salad so I can plate before the end of the show. We gotta do all this in twenty six minutes. Well, a little bit less, the faster I go, the better. And we're gonna end our show. So oh I didn't even put the let me just hold on. Ready? Um so who I love, and I love you for loving me, and the way you do, and the way you help me through the worst times, through the best times, through all those times, um, and the way you support me in the restaurant. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Hello. Motherfucker. All right, let's get on because now we're barreling out of time. So you see what I'm doing, right? I'm going to take that. So I pre-bought uh, scaled and veined, um, so to speak, catfish from the grocery store. I suggest you do the same unless you want to clean it yourself. And you see I'm sealing it 
with toothpicks. Don't skimp on your toothpicks, you feel me? Seal it as much as you can because you don't want all the stuffing to come out while it's frying. God damn it. So you see me? See what I'm doing? Okay. We're going to do the same thing with the next filet. This looks really nasty, but it's going to taste really good. I'm just saying it looks really nasty the way I'm rubbing it. It don't look uh Looks like I'm playing in Nookie. There we go. Now, I'm putting so many toothpicks in because I'm really trying to seal it at every angle, okay? So we got those two done. I'm going to switch my board around. Because I'm going to go ahead and add one more filet over the top. I'm going to go ahead and season this real fast. Because I am going to change how I... At first, I was just going to fold my filet over. I'm going to do that. I want it to be long. Like... And I can still get the same amount of... I can still get the same amount of stuffing. Actually, I can get more stuffing if I go ahead and elongate the fillet. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay? All right, so let's do that. And I'll season the top of this um, once I go ahead and stuff it. Now, I'm going to put this on the filet that's had a little bit longer time to um, sit with its seasoning. Okay? I feel like doing this whole filet will be better to plate. So let's go ahead and do that. You see me? I'm gently, gently massaging this down. And if it comes out, it's fine. I'll just move it, put it back in the bowl. It just has seasoning on it. All right. I got to get some more toothpicks. 
So while I'm waiting on those, let's do our mashed potatoes. Y'all ready? Mashed potatoes is easy. It requires butter, salt, pepper. I do mine a little bit differently from everybody else. I'm going to show you why I say that. We're putting them right back in the pot. They was in. We're gently chopping. Not not roughly while I'm waiting on those two picks. Not roughly chopping, just gently. Okay? All right? Cool. Break this off because I don't want it to get in my butter. And you know what? I'm just going to get another spoon. Where are my spoon? Well, fuck it. Fork of work. I a half a cup of butter right now. Okay? You want a half a cup of butter in here? Now, what I add in mine. I add garlic salt, okay? Um, sometimes I add sour cream. Thanks, baby. Pink Himalayan salt. Okay, you see me? Black pepper. Black pepper. Well, I just put that on the floor. <laughs> and I add um, parsley. Parsley. All right, one shot to go. Let's do it. Let's do it. You ready? I'm going to go ahead and pour mine. All right, she calls hot. So one shot to go. One shot to go. One shot to go. I love you too, baby. Oh, I'm glad that it looks good. It'll be even better in the picture once it's plated. I'm going to tell you all now. This is not going to be a meal because we got 50 minutes left. This is not going to be a meal that we're going to be able to plate on the show. It's going to be a meal that I have to plate afterwards and send you guys pictures, which is still fine with me. Salute to you. Okay, she read, they ready over here. Y'all ready over here? All right. So, to you and me, nope, I'm not going to do the end. Um... To, to being fucking drunk. Shit. There we go. Salo. Shit. Okay. So, mix your potatoes with the ingredients I just gave you. Lightly turning. You don't have to butcher the damn potato. You don't stab the fucking potato like you mad at your husband because you know he's cheating, or you mad at your girlfriend or your wife because you know she cheats. Beat her ass. Don't do that to the potatoes. These are fresh potatoes that you have boiled to make some homemade mashed potatoes. Don't be a fucked up person. Bad enough you done already boiled them. You ain't got to butcher them and beat their ass too. They ain't did shit to you. Have they? No, I'm going to answer no. Now, always with your food, make sure your flavor profile is point. So, for me, in order to do that, I got to rinse my mouth out, okay? Um, I got liquor in my mouth. I got other shit in my mouth. 
I need a clear mouth to see that don't even sound right, do it. I need a clear mouth right, do it. I need a clear mouth to assess my salt level. I need a clear mouth to assess my salt level. So this is what we're gonna do. We're good. We don't need to do nothing else for these potatoes. Oh shit, they good. They done. Damn. They're damn they're good. Mmm. Damn, I ain't getting none on the fork. <laughs> Trying to be petty. Let's put a lid over the top of that. Damn. Let's not put them in the oven. Oh, no, our oven's not on. Our oven is, however, a safe place right now. So we put them in the oven. 13 minutes to go. Let's finish filling up our catfish. Okay. Now, you need cornmeal for this next step, okay? You need cornmeal. Um, cause we're frying. We're not baking. We going big or going home. Shit. Go big or go home. It's like gambling. That's what we doing right now. Literally. Any any dish that I do is a gamble. I'm going big or I'm going home. It's one or two ways. I'm going the fuck big or I'm going home. And I just put all my eggs in the basket and, and run with it and see how it works. So, we've got that set up. It's ready. Now, mm. yeah, we good. Oh, shit. Hey. Oh, that's good. Oh my God. I'm not being conceited or nothing, but it's like it's it's good. Um. So since I'm you, I'm gonna just sit this in here. Since I'm utilizing my board, normally I tell you get a plate and do your. Uh, do your cornmeal. Pour that shit on here. Listen, I'm too little with my show. Can't stand a fly. I can't stand a fucking fly. I can't stand a dog ass, lion ass nigga or bitch, and I don't like a fly. Oh, I'm sorry. I said it the wrong way. My apologies. Mr. Benton, my cousin in the bill. So we'll move that down. I had lobster on that night. A lobster, good, good. Oh, I'm swearing all day. That's the whole point of the show. Fucked up cooking. The point is the ability to still make amazing food while drunk. I ain't never did you did you think it was sober uh drunken uh, wait sober PR chef is that what you thought it was? Mm, nope. Put him on PR chef right? Ain't shit sober about it. Y'all get drunk and I get to get drunk too. Feel whatever type of way you want. Okay? So. Now, traditionally, the old school black way to do this 
Put your um, cornmeal in a bag, season it up, toss the fish around, blah, 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 throw it in that oil. I'm not doing it. I'm going to tell you what. Well, one, it's, it's evident. The shit is stuck. You toss this shit around with all these toothpicks, all the stuffing is going to come the fuck out. Be real. I am becoming the drunken master. <laughs> so, um, common sense is just common sense. Dumbassness is just dumbassness. Do not put a stuffed piece of fish in Dumbassness is just dumbassness. Do not put a stuffed piece of fish into into a bag and toss that shit up. Like you're gonna lose everything. You this is why you sterilize your counter space because you don't have to care about how it where this cornmeal is going. And no, I'm say I'm not seasoning shit. Taking it straight out the bag. I'm placing it straight on the fish. And I'm okay with losing cornmeal. I'm okay with that. I'm supposed to. I need to make sure that my fish is fucking coated. You want to tell me? You don't need to add no goddamn seasoning. You done season the hell out the fish. You done season the hell out the damn, uh, I'm sorry, use my words. Black Wakanda, Wakanda, Wakanda forever. Flip it over. You see what I did? This one's a little bit harder. Now. Same rules apply. Because we frighten it. I'm not playing with y'all. Because some people's safe haven is their bathroom. Mine is my kitchen. So. But for me, this is always my safe haven. If I can't do this in the kitchen, if, I, if my kitchen can't be a fun place for me to experiment, that is our stuffing and that is our extra piece of fish so now alright so now what we're about to do y'all let me make sure that our oil is ready you can always do an oil test with water You hear that happen? You hear it? Your oil's ready. That means it's hot enough to not burn your food, but it's hot enough to cook your food. We got four minutes to go, so the least we're going to do is put this in, and I will definitely send y'all a video of everything plated. We're going to start with our filet, dust a little bit extra cornmeal oil. And let that boil. So let's, right now, I ain't going to be able to finish our meal. So let's do this. about the pork cooking oil in my cup. So, all right, let's do this. It is time to go. It is. God damn it, Tanya. I should, no, no, no. I just said, um, no. No, no. Fine. Oh. 
Only because I had waited. I had called it. And this motherfucker comes in and calls it. Fucking A. Alright. I'm not. You 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 just don't want to be smacked, do you? Let's go. Everybody have their shot. Let's do it. From you to me, from me to you, shall it always be. You don't love me. You don't love me. So, I love you guys. I love you guys, but we're not. Until we meet again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. We are doing walk. For me, walk. Walk. A very good guacamole. A spicy guacamole. A very good pickle. I love you guys. From me. Get drunk and pee Look, I got some booty. Look, I got booty. I'm just playing. Right, B. I'm just playing. I'm out. I'm out. Love, peace, hair grease, and so. So, on that. I just, I love it. Bye.